Hi everyone, it's Jenny with Art for Good. I am so excited about today's piece that I'm gonna show you the process of how I created. It's this vibrant, beautiful piece. It has bright colors, very rich colors, and it sort of blends this abstract and realism that I love to do with acrylic pouring techniques. So let's get into it. So I'm using a canvas that I have repurposed and I'm just putting down in no particular order or rhyme or reason a couple of dark blue colors. Um, I had scraped an earlier painting so I'm just making sure to use any leftover drippings that I can to, to cover this canvas. As usual I'll go ahead and put each color that I used in this piece in the description below so you can reference it later. All right, now that all of my sides are covered, I'm going to start putting down the colors for the dress portion. I'm gonna start with white because I find that as I blow that out with a Dutch technique, it will create this kind of halo effect behind the object. It looks really interesting. I'm using a red, crimson red, a magenta, and then I'm going to add some gold as well to help bring out some of those colors. Now I'm going to position my hair dryer so I'm blowing downward and that way it'll sort of keep the top piece from going too far away from the composition I'm hoping to add with this tiny dancer after this is dried. Definitely want to add some movement, so I'm stretching that paint out as much as possible. I've been really playing around with this idea lately of not putting down too much paint underneath a Dutch pour, and it's creating some really interesting effects when I blow it out. It's not quite as flowery as a traditional Dutch pour would be. It's a little bit more like marble, and I really find that I'm liking the effects of that. So now I'm just using my breath to blow some of the edges a little bit so they're a little more wispy. Sorry about my head blocking the picture here, but you can see it sort of at made it a little more wispy. So now after it's dried for a couple of days, I'm going to go back in with just some regular acrylic paint and add in this female figure and I'm just going off of the composition of the existing painting to add straps and sort of a front piece to the dress. Um, hand painting is not my strong suit, but I find it is so relaxing to just sit down and spend a lot of time painting with a paintbrush. So take your time. If you find that you maybe made a mistake, it's really easy to correct. If you have the same color that you used in some of the other pieces, you can just uh, make corrections. All right, I think it's ready to dry for another day or two and then we're gonna do a coat of gloss varnish. And I am so thrilled and excited with how this piece turned out. I hope you are too. I hope you'll try it out and you know play around with different colors and compositions. And I love this whole idea of blending abstract, fluid art techniques with some form of realism. If you like this video, please tell me in the comments below. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe for more art tutorial videos. See you next time.